Okay, installing your test gate or your pressure uh, sh sewer shutoff valve for your straight fit valve is fairly easy. What you can do is you're going to find a box that is located into your basement floor. It will be flush with the concrete floor and beneath that you will find the uh, valve. The only tools you may need is just some channel locks and a screwdriver will work just fine. So step one will be just removing your lid. Just like that. And you're going to go on both sides, you're going to remove it, and that pops it off. Now once you've got the lid off, what you're going to see underneath is you're going to see a clean -out cap, such as this. So most likely it's going to be something like that located underneath your clean -out. This is a great cap, but yours might be black. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to take your channel locks, and you're going to remove that cap. And you have to remove, you use whether you use a pipe wrench or you remove a cap like that and you it out. Now inside you will notice that we have, you will see a yellow reflective tape, tape sticker there and you see a little slot there. What we want to do is that's where the gate's going to slide, the test gate's going to slide on that side. Now we're going to take your test gate which is your yellow orange gate that you have and what you can do with it, what I want you guys to do with it is I want you to lubricate the o-ring so it slides in and out of that body easily. Now you can take some Vaseline with that if you want. At the same time, you may want to lubricate this face where that slides on. You'll notice also that when you have this gate in hand, you'll have a female portion at the top and you have a, a knob at the, on this end as well. That's the top of the unit itself. So now, as you can see, I got the yellow reflective tape sticker. I got this in the top position and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in and when I slide this in I heard a snap so what that snap meant was that that top portion that I had slid in behind to lock this gate in the open in the in the position now prior to your flood of course what you're going to do is you're going to take your clean out you're going to make sure it's it's back onto the valve body you're going to tighten it up and you're secure, ready for the flood. After the sewer subsides, you're going to open this back up and you are now going to, as you're, opening, as you're another important thing, as you're opening it up, if you feel any kind of back pressure coming back on that lid, that means that sewer is not subsided yet, so tighten your clean out again. So, there's a couple of different ways to remove that yellow, that orange uh, uh, isolation valve out. One is take your screwdriver. It's fairly simple. What you want to do is you want to go between the face and that's it. What it is, it just popped it out of place. It's the back of my hands. Then what you do is you take your clean out. Screw this back on. Don't forget to tighten it up with your wrench. You screw it back on. And you, you, then what you do is you take the lid. As you can see, the lid has two little grommets on it. What you do is you're going to slide your lid in. And it just pops back on and you're done. So that's as simple as it is.